Okay, so now we're going to start talking, we're going to dig down into an actual practical case study. All right, so there's three parts. There's the feasibility study. We want to know, is this system going to work before we spend any money, before we install anything? We want to have that confidence. So that's the feasibility study, and it's mainly what we're going to be doing for the rest of this course. Then, obviously, you're going to design the system. You can use that online tool to design the system. Um, and then you finally do the installation. So we're going to do two examples right now. The first example is going to be an easy one, a warehouse in the country. And the second example is going to be a hard one, a hotel in a big city. So let's talk about a warehouse. This is a practical example here. Now this is an actual client's warehouse. It's going to get a repeater system installed in it. Okay. Big open space. Easy. You know, no, no internal walls. We're just going to pop the antennas around the edge here. Space them out by, let's say, 20 or 30 meters. Panel antennas up at the wall and pointing in. You stick the Aggie up at the top. So, you're going to talk to the client. You want to find out from the client uh, what's the most important operator. He might say post mobile. We're all using post mobile here. That's the important one. I do want the other ones also, but we're, that's the most important one. So, that's useful information to us in terms of prioritizing uh, which operator we point at on the roof, because there's always a compromise to be made. When you're inside the building, you're going to say, you're going to have your phones out, and you're going to say, okay, what's in this building? Have a look, see what it's like. Make a few quick calls. Oh yeah, post mobile is terrible reception. I'm orange, terrible reception here. Find out the areas in the building where the reception's worst. You're going to, I'll talk to the client, you're going to say, okay, where's the most important room for you? And he's going to say, you know what, this meeting room here, I cannot get orange signal here on his phone, the boss's phone, he's orange, and the, and the meeting room is really important to him, okay? But that's where you're going to do your tests. You're going to set up your whole um, temporary system and you're going to test in that room, that's most important. And you're going to be aware that uh, orange mobile is important. So also just take a note that with you can, you can use network setup for lights, you can say well, what's, uh, what, uh, frequ what's the highest frequency, okay? In this room right now, we know, using this as an example, band three. It seems to be on band three, okay? It's not enough information. For big installations, you can't just use these phones, okay? Because there could be band one here. Right? This phone likes band three because the mobile operator say, oh, no, 4G's at band three, I'm gonna keep you on 4G, right? But band one could also be here, which is a higher frequency. Band one is 2100 megahertz. It's 1800 megahertz. 2100 megahertz is higher. So we need to know that information. You're going to need a spectrum analyzer. Right, I'm going to turn this on, actually. I'm going to have a look. You know, using the, this, you, you, this is what you're going to get. You're going to understand what's in the building. Sometimes, you know, south of the country, you're just going to have 800, 900 megahertz, or you're going to have a very poor signal. That's the ideal situation. We want to see no signal inside the building. We want to see a lot of signal outside the building. Remember, that's the best situation. But in practice, there's often a sniff of these other signals inside the building. Generally speaking, 21, 18, 21, and 26 is not in the building. It's interesting that it is in this building. That's probably because there's a base station out there somewhere that's coming in those windows. Okay. So here's actually, let's have a look at this. This is, uh, this is a spectrum analyzer. Okay. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at what's in this building. I'm just going to close that in there. Okay. Already something's popping up there, right? So. I know that the, um, the, the, the t we're looking at 2100 megahertz, right? And the, 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 the spectrum is from 2110 megahertz to 2170 megahertz. Or 2.11 gigahertz to 2.17 gigahertz. I just type those frequencies in. Just go frequency, start, 2.11 gigahertz, and then it goes stop, 2.17. So this is the full 2100 megahertz spectrum I'm looking at right here. Where do I get those frequencies? Basically, I have them in this, okay? They're all written down here. And uh, you will need to know those. Um, so I can see, if I just put that antenna up there out to the window, you can see there are the carriers. All right. Now, see the way there's a bump like that? When you look at, these, when you look at this for a while, you understand what these are, these, these shapes. So I'm, I know they're 3G carriers, the H plus carriers, those bumps at 2100 megahertz. All right. And uh, each operator has three of these bumps. So one, two, three, that's the first operator. And you'll notice that they're not using the third one. Each operator is only using two bumps and they haven't bothered with the last one. 
these are five megahertz slots. Okay. Now, I look at that right now, so I can say, yes, there is 2100 megahertz in this room. So I need to stick in a repeater that covers that frequency, a five band repeater, or a, a, GD, a GDW band repeater. All right. And you can see this one's slightly higher, but it's pretty even, it's not bad. On the roof, we want to make sure they're even. You see, you can't see this information with the phones. This is critical information for installation. You need to see this. And that's just 2100 megahertz. Let's have a look at 900. So let's look at the 900 spectrum. Start. The start frequency is 925 megahertz. The stop frequency is 960. This is, the, this is the 900 megahertz spectrum. Look at the shape. And I know from looking at these that they're GSM carriers. In Paris, I have seen 3G carriers in, uh, at 900 megahertz, and I've seen 4G carriers at 900 megahertz. So look at the shape. They're all GSM carriers. They're spiky. They're kind of bouncing around. Yeah? So that's what that is. They're only calls. All calls go out over 900. I'll just uh, quickly uh, bring you this up here. So I have this website for Luxembourg. It tells me all the frequencies. Downlink. The downlink frequencies. So I just put in nine, the 900 frequencies there, 925 to 960. That's what we're looking at right there. So it tells you. The first one here is orange. The next one's post. The next one's tango. And the next one here is post. They correspond to these here. You see? So that, what's orange there at the start? All right, so th those correspond to these. Right. <coughs> it's, it's a bit difficult to see with these GSM frequencies that are spiking all over the place. So let's have a look at the uh, 1800. Now I know that 4G is transmitted at 800, 18, and 26. So I know there's 4G frequencies in here. Let's type it in. So the frequency starts at 1805 and ends at 1880. Let's type that in. So we go frequency. 1805 megahertz, oh sorry, start, 1805, stop, uh, 1880, isn't it, 1880. There's our, there's our 4G spectrum. Now, <clears throat> look at the shape of the bands and look at the way they behave. They're boxy, see, and they hop up and down. They're 4G carriers. And if you look at 1800, the first one's orange, the second one's tango, and the last one's post. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So that's orange there, the first block's orange. Right? There's tango in the middle, and there's post. And, you know, they're pretty even. Our, jo our job on the roof is to make sure they're even. I'm going to move the antenna around. I'm going to be aware of where the moment the base stations are. Okay? I'm going to make sure that I'm pointing to the base stations. But I don't want to have tango way 20 dBs up above the other two. If tango is 20 dBs above the other two, I need to move this antenna away from that tango base station or shield it somehow. Okay? <coughs> So you, but you will become familiar with the shapes of these waves. 4G is boxy and it bangs.